add a cube. In edit mode select these four vertices. Now press Ctrl-B to add bevel. Increase the segments. Fine. Select the top face, and press G, then Z to grab it on the Z axis. Add bevel to both ends. Shade smooth. Add a cylinder. Scale down. Select the top face and add bevel again. Add a loop cut in the bottom. Add another loop cut here. And add bevel with one segment. Press E then S to scale down a little bit. Add a loop cut here. Now add a cube and grab it here. In edit mode deselect this vertex only. Add some bevel. Now grab it here to create the cap opener. Now apply subdivision surface modifier to the cylinder before we do anything. Now apply a boolean modifier and select the cube as an object. See it created that part. Now apply the modifier. Grab it here and add a cube. Add a plane also. Select these two vertices and press E, then Z to extrude on the Z axis. Hide it for now. Go to the Material tab. Select these faces and assign them as another material. I'll name it Body. Now go to the Shading tab. I have created this level for my shampoo bottle with 1920 over 1080 pixels. Make sure you keep the letters white with a transparent background. Now back to Blender. Add an image texture and a mix RGB. Select that level. Now add the color to color 2 and alpha to fact for transparency. Keep color 1 black. Now add color to color. You can go to UV editing and resize it if you need. Now back to the shading tab. This will be our background color. Now add a color ramp and join to the color one. Add the gradient you want. Don't worry about the result. We are going to fix it. Keep it ease for better results. To control it add a mapping node and a texture coordinate node. Add it to the vector and vector to fact. Let's flip the gradient. Rotate 90 degrees on Y axis. Let's do it minus 90 degrees.
choose the linear option for now. Rotate the Y axis more until it matches horizontally. Now adjust the location. Now change it to ease. Copy these three nodes. Tab to that other material and paste these here. Connect from color to color. Now add a separate XYZ node between mapping and color ramp. Choose the Z option, put all these values to zero. Now copy these three again and apply to the cap. Now unhide the plane. Copy the cap material and paste it to the cube material. Do the same with the background plane. Now go to Cycles and hit Render. but I have added some cubes to look better.